Hello, and welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic today is parametric release. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you're new, make sure you subscribe to get all the good content we're putting out. Check out the status bar below for our agenda. Stick around to the end to get those bonus questions. Our topic, parametric release, is covered by 1345 sections 7.5.6 and 7.5.7. .7. There is also a corresponding ISO standard for parametric release, specifically related to ethylene oxide sterilization. It is 21387. Parametric release in five words. Sterilization release by process monitoring. Parametric release is used when the actual finished product is released to the market after it's been sterilized without the use of sterility testing. When organizations want to eliminate the use of sterility testing, they first have to establish for their sterilization process what are commonly referred to as critical process parameters or CPPs. To establish CPPs, the organization has to have a great an in-depth understanding of the sterilization process itself, the product, the manufacturing process, the equipment. There's a lot of things that have to be understood to establish the CPPs for that sterilization process. Once we have the CPPs, then we have the monitoring in place to capture data for those CPPs throughout the entire sterilization process. The product release itself happens when someone goes through all of the sterilization data and determines that all of the acceptance criteria were fulfilled, therefore, the product may be released. There are many important elements that you must consider when you're thinking about parametric release. The equipment itself, the history of that equipment, the load configuration, how the cycle is used, the product, all of these go into determining whether parametric release is right for your product. Check out ISO 21387 for more information. Both US FDA and the EU GMPs have guidance documents and requirements documents out for parametric release. Check those out to get a better understanding from those respective markets what the expectations of the regulators are. So how do I know this is working? First, each sterilization process has defined and documented CPPs. Second, those CPPs, they're monitored throughout the entire sterilization process and the data is collected. And then finally, my parametric release process is fully validated, all of the equipment and all of the controls. So how do I know it's not working? First, I don't have documented CPPs for my sterilization process. Second, if I do have documented CPPs, I'm not monitoring them and capturing data throughout the sterilization process. Third, I haven't done a full validation for my parametric release process that meets the applicable regulatory requirements. And then finally, I don't have someone reviewing all of that data from the sterilization process and confirming that it meets my acceptance criteria before the product is released. And now for our three bonus questions. First, have we implemented parametric release on any of our products? If yes, can I get a list of them? Second, are we planning to implement parametric release on any new or existing products? If yes, can I get a list of those? And then finally, can you show me the processes, the procedures that are documented and defined for capturing all of that data from our CPPs and who's supposed to review and evaluate that data before product release? Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Send any questions to me at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained, making quality systems simple for you.